there are standards in healthcare. I think the problem is we have that in the U.S. market, we're not using the standards that exist today. The manufacturer sends a product out with a particular number on it, distributor's putting a different number on it, hospital's putting in a different number on it, so that by the time one goes to say do a recall, you can't, you can't connect the dots. We, we can't stand this condition. Uh, America can't uh, afford it. the cost of health care as it is now, and this is our portion of responsibility that we have to do this. I would challenge everybody that works in the supply chain and in the healthcare industry to find it unacceptable not to understand this problem. We have a problem in healthcare today, and it affects the entire supply chain, beginning with the manufacturers, to the distributors, to the group purchasing organizations, and then to the providers. It's costing us billions of dollars each year, and it impacts the safety of our patients. It's interesting, I think, that we have gotten as far as we have, particularly in the medical device world, um, and we don't have uh, good identification standards. We cannot unambiguously identify devices. I can go to one of the big chain stores and ask them, do you have any more of this in the back? And they can scan a barcode and tell me exactly whether they do or don't. We don't have those same applications in healthcare. Well, we want a safe, efficient supply chain. And yet in healthcare, we cannot recall a deficient hospital product. We cannot track and remove it from the shelves, nor do we know what person is walking around with a bad product inside them. Standardization, improving patient safety. Patient safety is, is the number one concern. As we look at product identification, it becomes very important when you look at recalls of physician preference implants or trying to determine uh, what the effect of serialization, being able to trace from when the product was produced all the way to when it reached the patient, um, how that product has been handled. We don't get the recall notification in a timely manner. So when we do get the recall notification, if it's by lot number or serial number and the item has been removed from its original packaging, then we don't know. So we're losing out on a lot of information. So by having some kind of a barcode standard or some kind of information on each package, it's going to be extremely important, especially for those items that can cause patient harm uh, when it comes to a recall. Standardization, decreasing costs. Well, I think if the entire supply chain were to adopt standards, we would all see tremendous cost savings. Yeah, there's a study in 1996, it was probably the last one that was done to actually look at the, the savings associated with more efficient processes um, that really are keyed around barcoding and, and automation of the, um, the identification of product and it was around 16 to 17 billion dollars of savings that they documented and uh, again I know it's a bigger number than that in actuality. If we continue being very inefficient in how we manage our supply chain there's a significant amount of money that might be available for clinical excellence, for charity, or for just more nurses at bedside. Change is coming. There's a law in place right now where the FDA is going to write a regulation on unique device identification. What the legislation has passed and the agency is in the process of writing, implementing regulations right now, which will in essence require most or all medical devices to have a unique identifier, an unambiguous standardized identifier at every level of packaging and for that information to be used throughout the supply chain and for the meaning of that identifier to also be made publicly available. You know, I think what's happening, I think government will um, mandate something, but I'm very hopeful that they're mandating based on what leadership in this industry is defining as a solution, um, as opposed to doing something uh, in an isolated manner. If you leave it up to government, they will do things that make it easy on them and give them the information they need which may not help the clinician or may not help the individual supply chain partners in the industry to achieve their efficiencies or their, their desired goals. Working together. I'm very optimistic. I think that we now have all of the stakeholders involved in the GS1 US initiative. And this is the, the best opportunity that we have. I think it's past time and it's, it's very much overdue, and I think that we have a lot of people with a lot of buy power 
um, that are going to drive this. When you look at some of the groups that have been involved with this, SMI and ARM and some of the others really starting to push standards through to their members, I think that's beginning to give us some traction. I think that as a, as a healthcare system we've been dysfunctional in the sense that many people have tried to solve this problem, but we've got to do it together. And for the first time I see the stars aligned with so many organizations coming together and aligning themselves with GS1 Healthcare. The time is now. This industry is ready to implement data standards in the healthcare supply chain. We have a solution and we are ready.